on <clears throat> this episode of Moments with Murph, we got Darren and Kate here, and we're going to play another round of underrated versus overrated. So, it's going to be kind of interesting because Kate's very nervous, but she's going to be fine. She's going to be fine by the end of it. I got faith in her. I long, do long she needs herself, she'll be fine. <laughs> exactly. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, bet. So, underrated versus overrated, having siblings. You want to go first? You want to go first? You go first. All right. Well, first, let me say shout out to my mom. I know you're listening. I just want to say shout out to you. Uh, overrated, underrated? Uh, I think it's overrated. I'm sorry. Yeah, overrated. Underrated. Sorry, underrated. Okay. Because, uh, being a single child and um, not experiencing a lot of the same things that a lot of other siblings experience, mm -hmm. as far as having that built-in best friend from day one, as far as, you know, going out, playing catch, as far as just talking to someone when you go and do it. Sometimes you don't want to talk to an adult because an adult doesn't really understand you. Right. So I think it's underrated um, because a lot of people take that for advantage. Yeah. You know, you try to encourage him to do certain things, but he can't go but so far, only because we're not in the same, you know, class of ages. Respectfully. So it's like, I can only get him but so, you know, far with me when in, ter in terms of actually doing activities. Mm -hmm. And then the thing is, too, like, because we're a lot different. Like, me, he plays a game a lot, and I be on the run a lot. So, like, he be wanting to hang, but I don't be having a lot of time just, be to, run a lot. Yeah, <laughs> just to, you know, just to sit and chill. I'll be wanting to, cause I'll be wanting to teach him good things, but it's like, you know... Ah, uh, he'd just be so uh, just different. Oh my gosh! Like I hear you. it's so, uh, it's so weird. Like it, it was, I think it was better back when we were younger. Cause like you know, you'd be in the house, you'd be playing nerf guns and stuff. Like you'd be yeah, yeah. having pillow, pillow fights just randomly, you know, just right. throwing stuff, getting in trouble together. You see all that, bro? Like all that, I never got experienced that. Yeah. yeah. And being a single parent, uh, so I was working all the time, so it's a lot. I'm not saying I was by myself a lot, mm. but I was, I was by myself enough to where like stuff like that. Like, oh, I wish I had yeah. that. I wish I was able to fight my brother. I wish I was able to, like, oh, my brother's being me right now. Like, oh, like, I wish I had that. Oh, my sister, well, I wish. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, it's kind of like, it's weird for sure. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, for someone like me, when people complain about their siblings, I'm like, damn, like, at least you got something to complain about. You know, like, it's just it's just me. If I don't want to play by myself, then I'm just kicking it. You feel me? Yeah. I would say the only times I made, I would say it's kind of overrated is, like, when you're getting of that age. Because, one, like, when he was five or under, like, at times, I'd be the one watching him. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I'm still pretty young myself trying to take care of a, you know, a, a, a baby, an infant, you know, a child. And I'm just like, okay, dang, I got to put you in bed at a certain time. Oh, my gosh, I got to cook dinner. I'm only making noodles, so I don't know what you're going to eat. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, you're still trying to figure out, like, what can I do to help you out, even though I don't know too much myself. And then other times where it's like you're of that age where you're, like, between 13 and, say, 16, where you want to go out and do stuff, but you got to watch your child. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, this is not my responsibility, but now it is. You know what I mean? 100%. Everything like the peaches and cream with you and your your twin Kate. Yeah, I mean we used to fight all the time. Now we don't really fight. Cause you're older. Right? But I'm also the youngest in the family. Like me and my twin. So when you're saying that you like had to put your brother in bed, like my siblings were doing that to me. Oh, so you're. So a I yeah. <laughs> I have a family different stance. How many how many siblings do you have? Um, an older sister, older brother, and then my twin. So it's four y'all. So mm -hmm. technically, who's older? You or your twin? Me, five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Overrated versus underrated. Winning an argument. Yeah, I went first last time. Yeah, okay, you go first. <laughs> um All right, like say you know. say you're fighting, like say, say we're fighting. Okay. And you like we're like really going at it, but like <laughs> you know you're right. Like is that really like do you need to do you need to win an argument to prove that you're right? Or can you just say like I it is, what it is, whatever, right? That's yeah, right. like, is it important I, to, I win? to win? I need to win. You need to win. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But why? <laughs> yeah, so why do, you, why do you need to win? I don't know, to prove a point. To prove a point? Because uh -huh. you want to be right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I've been getting better at it as I've gotten older. But, like, when I was younger, like, I always had to be right. Yeah, you always had to be right. Yeah. But, like, what do you get from that, though? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so you just being right, it's just you being right. Yeah. So it's more of, like, a moral satisfaction type situation. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm better at it now, though. Are you listening more? Say. You, you mm -hmm. listen? You, do you? Do you disagree with me? No, no. I'm asking. I'm just asking a question. You listen, you listen more to... Uh-huh. 
I would say that's like 50-50 um, from yeah. my standpoint. Because um, at times it seems like she want to listen, but then like, you know how somebody at that overlying point, <laughs> that overlying point, like they're just trying to make it definitive, like, yeah. listen, you're going to hear me out yeah. and I'm going to be right. Right. And over the course, she's like, okay, Kate. Yeah. It's like, all right, Kate, like, go ahead, bro. Like, you got it. Like, I yeah. understand. Like, if I want to. She speak, has, from freshman year to here, though, she has gotten better. I she's getting better. She's just, grown. See? Yeah, she has grown. I, I give you credit that is due. Yeah. Thanks. Doesn't mean you still don't do it. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I said I still do it. It's it's in your blood at this point. I'm about to say like I just I, just, I feel like it's something that she just can't get away from. Like no. she's getting better of it, but it's just like one day, maybe maybe one day. Yeah, maybe around fifty. Yeah. <laughs> um, me personally, like I don't, yeah. I, I could care less, bro. Like if we fi- if we fighting, if you want to be right, you right. Like, <laughs> like if you like I don't really care. Like I like I'll say my point. Then I have to say my point. If you still want to harp the situation, all right, go ahead, bro. You got it. You yeah. feel me? Like, I, like I'm just that. Like, she knows. That's fight. why we're friends. Yeah, that's why we're friends. Because she, she'll be fighting with me over something stupid. Because <laughs> you know how it be. And I'll be like, all right, like, go ahead. Like, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's kind of ended. I don't like fighting with people. That's how I am, though. Yeah. I don't want to cause problems with people. Like, I'd rather just, like, all just kick it and just be chill. Unless, unless, oh, unless you make me mad. Yeah. <laughs> if, you make, if you make me mad, I promise you, I promise you, we're not gonna talk. I'm gonna fight with you until I win the argument. Until you say like, "Oh, can we talk again?" Or I've done that to you a couple of times until you like me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let you let you let you, let you on red. Like okay, like yeah, she can text me first. She wanna talk to me. Nah, yeah. Cool. Scene. Yeah, scene, right? yeah. It's just like one of those things. Like I right, like. I've done it to you too. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm see, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I was saying, yeah, definitely winning to me. Definitely winning an argument is definitely over it. Like to me, it's just it's just wasted energy. I'd be like, okay, I'm not about to get into it with you. Like I commonly use the statements of you got it or okay, bet or I'd be like, hello, you so crazy. Like you know, I'm trying to leave the conversation alone because I'm tired of arguing. Like at, at a point, you don't get anything out of it. Like I mean, especially when you're trying to win because you're trying to make a point. And you kind of miss the other people's like perspective and yeah, stuff. You know what I mean? This. So it's like you don't get an opportunity to really open your eyes to see someone else's point because you're just only trying to win because it make you better, it make you feel better. And honestly, you don't again, you don't learn anything from that. And then for like two, the only time I actually will kind of sort of argue, like you said, when I'm kind of irritated. Right. Like, and when like you're mad, it's like I need to, I need you to feel me. Like I don't get mad easily. Exactly. So like, I'm mad. I want you to know I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working on my composure. I've been doing well for the past two years. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I used to have uh, moments. Yes. Back in the day. And, uh, instead of me having moments, I started doing push-ups. <laughs> it's like, you got working out. Yeah, I started working out. I started really like going through it because sometimes people just be making me so mad. Like, yo, like, what? Like, what? what? Really? Like, really? Like, and that's a, that's what I'm saying. Like, I typically don't get into the arguments, but like, people just say dumb stuff. Yeah. So just, you just like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. What? I'm sorry. Okay. See, you got it correct though. See, my mom. My mom's bad at that. She uh, she looks at you like you're stupid. Yeah. And you just feel stupid. And you ask her like, why are you looking like that? And she's like, <laughs> go ahead. Let's just just go ahead. Like, go ahead. Hey, no, because when people are silent, after you just say something stupid, like you you gotta just look at yourself. You're like, hold on, wait, let me. What did I just say? Like, right. <laughs> and then like, I just want to make it worse. The people who know they're like saying something dumb. And then they're trying to win the argument, right. but they know they just said it didn't make any sense. But they're trying to just go ahead and you know make it correct in some sort. It's just like okay, again, you're kind of just wasting my time. I think the best, I think the best is when you're arguing with someone, and you say like, okay, this let me let me ask you a question. This is why you're mad, and you tell them why they're mad, and they say yes, and you think they're mad and stupid. You're like, all right, like this is just, <laughs> this is just I can't, I can't. I'm about to say, bro, I got into an argument with my ex because I parked next to a girl's car. And I was just like, like she was like, "What made you park here?" <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hold on, hold on. I'm like, this parking spot I park in every day when we at school. I'm like, are you mad because I parked next to a car and that car happens to be owned by a chick? And she was just like, yes, but no, no, see, no, 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 no. Is, is this the reason? Like, right, yeah. and then we get into an argument all the way walking into the building, and I'm just like, because I parked. My car. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. It, it's little stuff like that where it's, I can't it's so dumb. And yeah, I, I can't, bro, I can't it, call that nerf. It's so dumb. And the fact that you brought it up means now we have to talk about it a little bit. Because I kept trying to use it. Okay, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll move the car tomorrow. Something stupid. But do then, you, yeah, do you, you Do you get mad no. or stuff like that? Like, <laughs> no. Do you, like, no. Like, what's an, like, what's something stupid that you like that really makes you mad? Maybe not stupid. Like, what's something small that really makes you mad? Like... I can't think off the top of my head. Like when Murphy chews his mouth open, like I'm like, yo, like what are you doing? Yeah, not like that he, like, not that he does do that, but like, like some small. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Just I don't know. I don't know. You don't get mad? No, I do, but I don't know about what. I can't think. You don't know what makes you mad? You know what I, mean? I know people who can't drive makes me mad. Yeah. What makes you mad? That makes everyone mad. I know, but it's just like, it's a certain type of driving that Jersey and Pennsylvania people do. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next, so next topic. Next topic. This makes next, me so mad. Oh my god, Because like, Pennsylvania people, they drive like all over the place. So aggressive. Jersey I agree people with drive that. so fast. Jersey's good. <laughs> really yeah, good. Jersey's good. Right. Jersey's something. Like, Dude. honestly, I had, on my way from Jersey coming back to school, I had to kick into gear and make sure I maintain that 90 mile per hour with everybody <laughs> right. else. Stay the, if you're not driving 90, stay out the left lane. Bro, yeah. I was in the right lane. Uh, <laughs> right. That's where I'm like, I'm like, oh, I gotta get active. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get activated. Like, yeah, you know. that's how it had to be so focused it was. Like, it's just looks like that. Like, it, it just bugs me. And then, like, um, like something that shouldn't bother me, but it does. Like female with lashes, that's like like bat wings. Oh, yeah. that 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 bothers that's me. That's extra, right? It's it's like why can't I see your face? I think I, 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 we'll I know what makes me mad. Yeah, what makes me um when people wear makeup to play soccer. Oh, <laughs> like, why are you wearing makeup? You're gonna sweat. So you're gonna sweat it out. So Kate's a yes, you star here, soccer player here. Star. A little stud muffin. So basically, you get mad when people wear makeup to like to practice keep. games. Like who's trying to impress? Exactly. I don't, know, I don't do it. Like, no, no one can see you. Like, what you trying to do? I mean, that's true. That's a valid statement. I'm going to say, I mean, if some people do it, uh, I'm not going to, like, throw them out. But when they know you're not getting in for real, yeah. like, you know you can look yeah. cute on yeah. the bench. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like back in the day when you're playing uh, away games, there's dirt, and you didn't play all games, but you want, your mom was in the stand to see, I can't tell which one's you, so you put some dirt on your jersey. <laughs> you want to see you make that tackle? Yeah, that's, that's how that'd be, bro. Yeah. Like, I, it's fried. <laughs> I'm about to say, bro, because you went, bro, like in an all white fit. Right. You're the yep. cleanest person. Yes, sir. But you got spat on. You got the gloves yep. on. You got the towel <laughs> with you. You right. looking, you looking yeah. icy. Yeah. Right, Ain't right, touched right. the field not one time. Not one like, time. <laughs> you go to the side, like, oh yeah, no, nah, mom. You still no stretching, still trying to. You think, oh, I'm about to go right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> you walking next to the coach, right. <laughs> hoping you be the one he grabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like people like that, bro. You. It makes me mad too, cause I'm just like, you just wasted all that time, and especially when they were all that spat. Like you didn't put all that spat on for nothing. For nothing, just bro. for you to sit there. You ain't like, big and sweat. Nothing, and then, bro, he used to make me mad, so mad. I'm thinking about one dude in particular. Like, spat game used to be crazy. I'm seeing like, let's say red was the primary. He'll have like a white spat line going down the middle. He'll like detail and put his number on the cleat. Yes. Like, spat. I'm like, bro, that's, that's cool. But what you doing tonight? No, <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what spat is, spat yeah, is when you put tape around your cleats. You know what that is? No. Okay, so uh, you know how you get your ankles taped? Okay, so people get their ankles taped when <laughs> their ankles. Um, spat is what goes on top of the cleat on, instead of underneath the cleat. Yeah. Ankle taped underneath the cleat, spat's on top of the cleat. It's, yeah. Got it. it's basically for looks. Um, I'm saying it gives you good support though too, like yeah. when, they, when they tape right. But it's basically for looks. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's basically for like the, that swag style. Yeah. Some Some people get... Uh, I know my my teammate Sean McCarthy. He gets uh, his ankle taped and he gets spatted because he wants that extra compression for stuff like that. It's kind of cool, but a lot of people just do it like just to, to do. Yeah, so it kind of depends on how you utilize it. I used to put it on my wrist because like I used to sprain them right. quite frequently, so yeah, like so I would need that support. But then I'll take your wrist or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but I can make sure it's red. My gloves are red. So I'm just you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel you feel you feel look icy with. You can be supportive, but we're icy. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, bet. So underrated versus underrated. Birthdays. I know it was over for birthdays. Birthdays. Like celebrating birthdays. Oh, very end. Like your birthday or someone else's birthday. Let's do both. We we'll do both. We we'll do both. Which one would you do first? Do your birthday individual. My birthday. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, personally, I think it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> and we all know this is gonna happen. Uh, Tuesday is my birthday. Um, yes, sir. And everyone's like, "Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm in class all day. I'm gonna go home and play Xbox and just kick it. Play this is this is another day for me. But for everyone else, everyone's playing parties. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're oh, yeah. Food. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of down for me. It's like, I right, like it's cool. So like, I guess. I guess it's kind of cool to see people care for you in that way. Right. Because, like, it's like, yo, like, you do so much for other people. It's like, this is your one day. Like, damn, like, I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's like, all right, like, but for other people's birthday, I think it's underrated. Yeah. Because you got to make that person feel special. It's their day. So exactly. Now, I'm kind of dicking myself. Funny. Yeah, which is so funny. I'm dicking yeah. myself, but you got to make that person feel special because that's their day. Like, especially, like, if that person does everything for you, like, yeah. go right. ahead. Like, yeah, like, nah. Oh, you don't want to go dinner? Right, I'll bring dinner to you. Exactly. Yeah, like, oh, you, you don't want to do something? I got something for you. Yeah, like, like, oh, yeah, you're going out this weekend. Like, you're going. Like, 
Yeah. No matter what, if you got handcuff, you chain you and put you in that Taurus. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What do you What do you think? Um, I think both are underrated. They both are underrated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, elaborate. Well, I don't know. Like all my friends, we always plan like big things for each person's birthday. Yeah. Like, mine, we just all hung out. But like, my friend's birthday's coming up, and we're going into the city. So like. That's tough. Yeah. Whose birthday is it? Haley and Maury. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Morris is Friday. Morris Friday, right? Morris Friday. Yeah. Saturday. So we're gonna go into the city Saturday tough. and rent these like igloo things. That's tough. Oh, uh, it's like an adventure. Yeah, that's tough. It's an experience. But also, I'm a girl, so we kind of like. <coughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Like to do that material. That's cool though. Stuff. For like, for guys, it's kind of more like yo, like just kick it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. let's go get drunk. Like, it's Some simple. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it's just, yeah. It's true. I ain't gonna say guys don't have to plan that much. Like. Nah, hell, nah. It's hell just, nah. We plan like. Like for me, it's birthday. I was buying things like two months out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm we're day of. I'm day of, and if I like you, maybe two days before. Exactly. Damn. Yeah, and I'm having someone else wrapping for you. Hey, exactly. And I might tell you oh, who wrapped it. Oh yeah, I, you know who wrapped that, bro. You know, I think I wrapped it, bro. You know. You guys didn't wrap my gift. Uh, uh, I mean, the only thing I can think about was to put a ribbon on it. I will. The person okay, who wrapped you my. Thought about it. The person who wrapped my gifts is in Maryland, and then the person in PA wrapped my gifts. I can't have you wrap your own gift. So, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that would be kind of mean, right? Yeah. Right. So, you know. I would say, um, honestly, yeah, I kind of agree with Darren. Like, underrated, overrated, uh, depending on what perspective. Because, like, for me, like, I don't do anything for my birthday. Respectfully. Like, the past three years, I've done nothing. Like, people have done stuff with me, right. for me, and made me get out the house. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything for my birthday this year if my friend from Maryland wasn't, like, Oh, it's gonna be the last time I see you for a long time, so we're gonna do something. I'm like, I don't feel like it. Yeah. You're gonna do something with your birthday. Put it in my calendar. Yeah, right, like, right, right. she's been impressing me like for the past like three weeks. Respectful. Actually, for the past month when she first came up here. Oh, Nikki? Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> so she's been impressing me. So I'm like, you know, I, I finally found out some plans. My brother wanted to come up here or over here from Ohio, from Cleveland. So That's we're gonna tough. do something. That's cool, bro. Yeah. Are you sure, bro? You, 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 it's your day, bro. You should experience that. No, bro. man. <laughs> I hear you, bro. bro I, I would be so good just. Just chilling. But if it, if it, if it was Nikki's birthday or her birthday, Kate's birthday, or if it was your brother's birthday, oh, we gotta do something. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta, we, do we gotta have some fun. Like we want, like, like you said, like we gotta experience these things. Right. Like you know, you a lot of people don't get to experience another upcoming birthday, which is right. kind of why I would say it's also underrated because like you know, I think another year is like a, a round of applause that you made it. The question mark. Yeah, it is a question mark. <clears throat> it's really a question mark. So, like, the fact that somebody made it to their next birthday, especially when they make it to their 21st, I think it's a great accomplishment. Yeah. So, it's like, you kind of got to applaud that, like, yo, I, you know, it's not just a birthday, but it's, like, another congratulations of making it through life. Especially for your situation, because you're from Cleveland. So, yeah. a lot of your friends, <clears throat> like, I ain't be real with you. I don't know next time I'm going to see you after you graduate. Right. You live in Cleveland, I live in Jersey. So, we got we to gotta celebrate one last time for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, it's stuff like that. Like, Kate, again, she lives in Jersey. She wants to go halfway across the world. <laughs> Who knows when we're gonna see her again? Right. <laughs> we, we, we all gonna see each other again. So it's like, yo, like we gotta, we gotta celebrate. And that's the choice, you know. So that's, you feel me? Yeah, yeah and that's why I'm like, I'm, I was, I was keeping an open mind, just you know, allowing us or allowing her to plan with me to do something. Because again, I was, I really was gonna sit at a bar and watch the Ohio State game. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was gonna do. And like for my actual birthday is on a Tuesday. I don't have any classes, oh. so I probably just gonna go ghost that whole day. <laughs> oh, wait, I think we got a meeting. We got a meeting because of the club. Me too. Yeah, but yeah. I don't have nothing else to do like on campus. I don't have no classes. I just got to probably go to the gym. Uh, ooh, I got to switch that day. Just thinking about it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to go Instacart and go go for us today. Like, just, <laughs> just, I mean, you, you will be seeing my in my Instagram a full of my phone. Right <laughs> so, at Darren Blackwell forty three D A R Y N Blackwell. 43. <laughs> you will be seeing him on, on all of my social media. Just because, you know. like, I mean, again, like for my birthday, I feel like I was just chilling. Like, I don't necessarily want too much. But then I also tell my friend, I'm like, I feel like I never do nothing for my birthday because I'm always on stuff for other people's birthday. Mm -hmm. And like, by that time, I kind of burnt out. You know, I've always wanted to downsize of having a lot of friends mm -hmm. because like. It's something to do every month, if not, you know, every week. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you kind of got to play your cards right. Now, everybody knows I'm cheap, so I do things in a very minimal way. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if I can be there, at least, like, show face, like, I will do that. You know, yeah. give a little time just to, you know, show that I still care, even though you be busy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I mean, yeah. So underrated, birthdays are underrated, overrated, depending on, you know, the perspective. And the person you are. Exactly. Some people, I think, do too much, you know, with these, like, super extravagant 
uh, parties where they don't even know everybody. They just <coughs> why are you looking at me? <laughs> just say not me. Everybody just come. Just please bring, come, bring throw, your friend. Throw, throw, throw a banger for no reason. No, no reason. I, I didn't throw a banger. No, no, no. Not yet. Mommy, not yet. My birthday passed. Oh, okay. So she's going to jump. I was just close friends. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, yeah it was close friends cool. and friends. I feel like was it more people last year? Mm-hmm. I had twenty four. Yeah, no, it was, it was like. Before. That's your twenty first. My whole team. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I walked down, I'm like, wow, I know. I know. Darren. Three people. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> friends. I'm, I'm friends with you. And I only knew three people. I was like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm like, this is crazy. I'm yeah, like, I got a team. <laughs> I got to expand my market. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> that's how you meet people. That's how you meet people. All right, bet. So last one. Uh, underrated versus overrated. Social media. Social media. Overrated. <laughs> Why you say overrated? Um, I don't know, because people like put up a front on social media. Like that's mm. not really how they are in okay. person. That's speaking from the heart, right there. Yeah. yeah she she <laughs> said that. Like, that was the first thing. She, yeah, no, you faking. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a. Depends on your age. And let me say this. Let me, let me explain that. Um, it's overrated for people our age mm. to about. Mm, 40. Okay. Because um, we had this conversation a couple of weeks ago about posting your girlfriend, your sibling, posting your sibling and other. Right. That's over, like, come on, it's overrated. Yeah. You know, like Kate said, it's a fake, it's fun. Like, who you are, it, you're not that. You know, you post all oh, Gucci belt, Gucci shoes, Gucci hoodie, <laughs> that. But look, you know that that Gucci belt, Gucci shoes is my brother's, and that's a picture. <laughs> and it's not gone. It's, and it's not gone. Yeah. But you don't, because you don't think that, you think it's real. Like, oh man, he got money. Or sometimes, maybe, some person looks really, really happy, and it's like, nah. Mm-mm. So, but when you're past the age of 40, I think it's really, really underrated because social media is a way to connect with family. Mm-hmm. So like, that. like, I have an uncle who lives in Chile. <coughs> yeah. And if it wasn't for social media, it wasn't for WhatsApp, like, I would never have reconnected with him in 2015, and I probably wouldn't live my life without having a relationship. Uh, well, a relationship that I can remember yeah. with him, you know? Uh, it's you, for example. Like, you live in Cleveland, Ohio. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be seeing you on social media to see you living, so you make sure you're okay. Right. And that's overrated. Like that's that's something that we didn't have back when our parents were younger. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> um, older people. My grandmother. Like, my grandmother talks to her brother. that follows her brother on social media, and he lives in North Carolina. You know, they're not gonna get up and get the car to go see each other, no. but they communicate through all the, through that. You know, my uncle's kids and father. You know, they all follow. They all check in on it. Like I guess the phone. You got the phones, the call and stuff like that. But you know. Scrolling, if you're scrolling through one platform and seeing all your family post all this stuff, you know, your uncle, your her brother posts this, her mom posts that, your daughter posts, you know, it's kind of like cool. So I guess, you know, I'm kind of in between. I think if you're older, once you hit a certain age, it's like, yo, like, this is for that. But I, right now, like, in our point, in our age, like, yeah, come on, like, I'm good. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say, I definitely agree with that. Because, like, especially, us, like, working backwards, like, for the older generation, like, like you were saying, like, if you if you're on Facebook and all of your friends or whatever is just family members, including the younger age, that's cool because like when you're scrolling, you get to see everyone's like life. Right. It's like you're kind of having a conversation with everybody, would not ever have to reach out to everybody. Because if you want to just send a little comment, you know, a little text like, "Oh, I see you at the beach," or "Oh, I see you got your degree," or "Oh, I see you got no job," <clears throat> like you're able to interact with family. And you don't have to have a 15 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute conversation or you have to go back and forth through text. Like just being able to reach out and, you know, make a little statement. It fills their heart because it's like, okay, I know you still care. And it's the fact that, you know, you're able to reach out to me, which means I should reach out to you too. Just because like, you know, we saw that connection and I want that to be there. So like definitely for the older generation, like when they utilize it correctly, you know, you got some people who can't even figure out how to work the camera correctly. You know, <laughs> especially though, they can't figure out how to work it. But once they do, and they know how to connect, you know, with the people that they're trying to, like, I think it's a great tool because it allows for that, you know, open line communication. Now, like you were saying, for our, our generation, yeah, we do a little. We do. We be doing the most, bro. I would say we we social media is such a powerful tool, and we utilize it in all the wrong ways, um, yep. in some sense. Now, again, social media is also used for entertainment. So some people entertain themselves with, you know, through dumb videos. Or, you know, just picking at people. I'm one of those people. <laughs> you know, just you know, just getting at people. But, like, you know, everyone got their purpose. But I think for us, like, it's definitely overrated. Because we post all the wrong stuff. All the wrong stuff. And usually it's stuff that people don't care about. Or that shows a negative image of you. So, like, people who always post a lot of money. Posting, mm-hmm. you know, drugs, guns, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, 
wild ish part like project x parties like <laughs> <laughs> like people who are doing like the most like that's a set of bad image of you because a you don't know who's watching right. and you don't know who's recording and right. screenshotting because right. everything, everything is got, up for grabs. I got, like, got evidence. <laughs> I got evidence on you, you, her, my mom, my grandmother. My, exactly. I want someone to play me. I got evidence exposed. Because you know? like once you put it up there, it's there. It's there. And it's like, you know, it only takes a second for somebody to, you know, again, record or screenshot and then they repost it. Mm. Now it's really everywhere because now it's and not they, at your hands. Someone you don't know is reposting it. And then they don't know. So and now, now you're trending. Like, now you're trending. Like Facebook. <laughs> That's how you think you see things from Minnesota. Like, who do you yeah. know from Minnesota? Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that's on your page. Like, you know. See things from Africa. So, right. Come on, right. no, you don't have an African friend yet. Right. Like, <laughs> like African, African social media? Like, yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's stuff like that where it's like, I mean, you get exposure and you can, you know, get, some of us get our news from social media because I'm, I ain't going to fake. I don't watch the news at all. I'm too young for the news. Not literally, but literally. But like, <laughs> I feel like if it's anything that's important to us, you know, I get it from y'all because I was, you'll see it reposted a bunch, and then I'll be like, okay, well maybe this is important. Now I'm gonna look into it. But I don't really go on social media, so at times I still miss my news. But if you utilize social media correctly, then you can get the you know the correct result. Some people use it for marketing, and you know, marketing turns into more revenue for yourself. Mm -hmm. Whether you're just reposting the flyer that you do nails or that you do lashes, like. You know, you just post a little bit, you might get a few clients, and now you're making some money. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, those who utilize social media correctly, good job. If you don't, you're dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're, not, you're not dead wrong, but you're just wrong. Um, you should just make a correction. Fix yourself. Just a little bit. Uh, you're dead wrong. Uh, <laughs> who you are sometimes, you are all the time. If you show yourself got money, you show you this stuff, be that person. But majority of y'all... Now speaking to the public, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at my, my friends list, you know who you are. Don't act fake. Be you. Be you. If you're a country person, po post country picture. Yeah, if post Pooh if, 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 <laughs> if, if you like Pooh Shiesty, post Pooh Shiesty. If you're a football player, post football picture. Soccer player, post soccer picture. Like, be yeah. who you are. I'm saying, yeah, definitely. Your, your profile is an example of you, and it's, it's your story to tell. I'm and saying. if you don't want to lie about your story, because, you know, it, it, it's your movie. Literally. That's all it is. I remember some people are judging y'all based off of what y'all post because like Actually. what you put up is how people perceive who you are. And which we're going to get into that topic a little more in depth and later in the season. But um, you definitely got to pay attention to like the way that you're, um, again, like pushing, you're putting yourself out because like how people perceive you is how they're going to treat you. Because like, you know, they say, oh, you treat how others how you want to be treated. No, you treat others how they want to be treated. So like you can only treat them based one upon more, what they're putting. One more time. I think Kate didn't hear you. Oh yeah, I don't one think Kate heard me. I'm going to say it louder. You got to treat others <laughs> the way they want to be treated, the way that they perceive themselves, and that's how you treat others. Did you hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I treat people <laughs> No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't at the uh, Bottom line yeah, is, bottom line is, don't treat others the way they want to be treated. Treat them how they treat themselves. Respectfully. And that's the way that you rock it. <laughs> we wasn't at you. We just uh, she's just so silly. She's yeah, like, repeat oh. that again. She doesn't watch the show. Yeah, she doesn't watch the show. She doesn't watch the show, guys. She doesn't watch the show. She doesn't know. It's okay. We'll 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 rock around. She's a fake friend. Oh. <laughs> no. That's also for another time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. Uh, so we actually gotta get Kate out of here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap the show up. Hi, Kate. I want to say you want to thank Kate for actually doing this with us. Thank you. 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 I want to say you want to thank Kate for actually taking some time on her busy day. I know. She forgot about this for a while. For a she, good minute. She's like, oh, guys, don't forget. I was like, damn. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Whatever. I know. I was just in my I, room in the corner. Like I got texted before. I used to be a second choice. So yeah. That's cool. No. I might say, I'm just being forgotten. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm like, Kate, where are we doing? She's like, oh. Yeah, so I'm like, um, just hanging out, not inviting me. Exactly. I'm like, okay. I'm just, I'm just <clears throat> I'll just stay in my room, look at the wall. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll play with my thumbs right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Count holes in the wall. I remember the ones who texted me. Oh, so we have oh, a texter first. I have a texter, because we ain't texted her then. Because we planned it on like a day, I was busy. Oh. oh. So she'll not so use planners or schedules. It. Oh, so she doesn't care about us. Right, she said, these <laughs> things are more important than you guys, because uh, when you as told, always. When you told me two weeks ago that, hey, I might need you on the show, I was like, okay, bet. I'm going to lie, I might tell her there. But if you might need me on the show, you find it. <laughs> Say, Betty, don't take a nap. Don't take a nap, exactly. So, uh, whatever. Because know a few days in the head. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, <laughs> I bet you that one day she'll not forget about us. <laughs> one day. One day. Well, too this was a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Yeah. I remember every other time Do you? something goes on. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I think she's put on the front for the camera she and for the fans. Uh, 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 it's like she's different for some things. No. Yeah. I remember like a lot. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Okay. We'll see. Interesting. Good. When's another time I forgot something? 
Thank you to people. Thank you to people for coming. Thank you to the class. Yeah. So go ahead, Kate, and you know, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> He's so shy. Kate's so shy. We don't get back anymore. Yeah, eventually. It's okay. Murph's in the same boat. Murph, Murph has all these friends, and we got to pencil ourselves in sometimes. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's all right. Uh, don't listen to that, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I'm going to thank Darren for being on this portion of the show.